Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion in Biology Form 3. The topic is Classification 2. So today we are going to discuss the, th the third division in the Kingdom Plantae and this is uh, Division Spermatophyta. So division spermatophyta, uh, we are saying that uh, this is where we have uh, the most advanced plants, of course, consisting of the seed bearing, the seed bearing plants those plants that bear uh, seeds. Uh, in terms of their characteristics, in terms of their characteristics, we are saying that uh, uh, seeds are born in cones or in flowers. So basically, they bear seeds, and those seeds are either born uh, within the cones. The seeds that are born within the cones, we refer to them as naked seeds, or they are not enclosed within the fruit. But for those seeds that are born from the flowers, they are usually enclosed within the fruit. Uh, the other characteristic of the division uh, spermatophyta is that they have a well developed vascular system, a well developed vascular system whereby the xylem consists of both vessels that is the xylem vessels and tracheids. The xylem consists of both the vessels or the xylem vessels and the tracheids. So it's a very well uh, developed uh, vascular system. They have chlorophyll. And of course, this is for absorbing light for photosynthesis. For photosynthesis. Uh, number four, uh, these plants are differentiated they are differentiated into roots, stem, leaves, and seed bearing structures. And seed bearing structures. So they are well uh, differentiated, they are very well uh, advanced. A group of plants. So basically, we have seen that uh, they, are, they have seeds that are born in cones or in flowers. We'll see those ones that are in cones and those ones that are in flowers. Uh, they have a well developed uh, vascular system that has the xylem with both vessels and tracheids. They have chlorophyll for absorbing light for photosynthesis and they are differentiated into roots, stem, leaves, and the seed-bearing structures. Uh, reproduction, 
is both sexual and asexual is both sexual and asexual now uh, to get into more details about uh, division spermatophyta we are going to divide this particular division into two into two subdivisions as we saw earlier and these two subdivisions we have division angiospermophyta and division subdivision gymnospermophyta so we'll say that uh, division spermatophyta is divided into two subdivisions for those subdivisions are not taxonomic units uh, we have we move from division to class but because the members of this particular division are very many they have been divided into two subdivisions i.e one we have gymno Fighter, and then we have the angio sperma fighter, gymnosperma fighter, and angio sperma fighter. Those are the two subdivisions that we have in this particular in this particular uh, division. And of course, the gymnospermophyta, they are the ones that bear naked seeds. Seeds that are not enclosed. In the fruit. So those are the seeds that we are referring to as the naked seeds. But for the case of... Uh, Angiospermophyta, here the seeds are born from flowers and are enclosed within the fruit. So they are enclosed within the fruit. So we are going to start with the first subdivision. Subdivision gymno sperma fighter. And we can have examples here. Examples include Pines, cypress, etc. Those that have need like uh, leaves. So, the characteristics, their characteristics They have need like leaves. Thick wax a cuticle. And that means that uh, they are xerophytic or they show xerophytic characteristics. They show xerophytic uh, characteristics. The other characteristic that we have mentioned earlier that uh, their seeds are born in cones, i.e. male and female cones. Just uh, 
clarification here that seeds are born in cones and we we'll elaborate that and say that uh, that mature seeds that mature seeds are born in female cones in female cones Number C is that uh, female cones are found on the lateral buds while male cones are found on apical buds. So we'll have an illustration of that. So we have the female cones. And these ones are found on the lateral bud. The lateral buds are the ones that become side branches. So they are the ones that bear the female cones. The male cones exist at the tip where we have the apical bud. So these are the male and female cones. And then also number D about the gymnospermophyta is that uh, their vascular system consists of the xylem but do not have the companion cells. So the vascular system or the vascular tissue consists of mainly tracheids. Mainly tracheids and lacks companion cells. So basically that is about the subdivision gymnospermophyta that bears naked seeds, the seeds that are not enclosed within the fruit. And we are saying that uh, other characteristics is that they have needle-like leaves, thick wax cuticle, and they generally show xerophytic characteristics. Uh, also, the seeds are born in cones, and especially the mature seeds, they are formed on the female cones. We have also uh, seen that the female cones are found on the lateral buds, the, the ones that become the side branches, but the male cones are born on the apical buds, the ones that are found at the tip of the shoot. Then the vascular tissue consists of mainly tracheids and lacks companion cells. So we'll have a, an assignment on this. So the first question, name two divisions in the division, name two subdivisions, sorry, two subdivisions in the division spermatophyta. And number two, state four characteristics of division spermatophyta. So we're going to stop there until next time. Goodbye.